Hey there, I'm Austin. Have you ever skipped a meal on purpose or even on accident? Well, congratulations, you've successfully completed a fast. Fasting is well known in various cultural and religious contexts, but it can also have huge benefits in everyday life. While there's no strict definition or singular method, a fasting regimen tailored to your specific needs could be a great way to encourage metabolic health. Fasting is when you choose not to eat or when you eat a very low number of calories for a certain period of time. Almost everyone does some sort of fast every day after going to sleep. And the next time you eat, morning, noon, or night is what breaks your fast, which is why breakfast is called breakfast. Break your fast. Besides the involuntary overnight fasting that happens while you're asleep, there are several other fasting practices that have gained popularity in recent years. Some of the ones you may know about include time-restricted or intermittent fasting, 24-hour fasting, and alternate day fasting. Guidelines around what you consume during these time periods vary and your choice depends on how your body reacts to fasting and whatever personal goals you set for yourself. In any case, be sure to consult your doctor about a plan that's right for you. So let's talk about energy. The two main fuel sources for your cells are glucose, usually from carbohydrates, and fat, which can also be stored and later converted into fuel in the form of ketones. After a meal, when glucose concentrations in your blood rise, your body releases insulin, which tells the cells to take up that extra glucose as fuel. The rest gets stored in the liver or muscles as glycogen or converted to fat. Fasting essentially forces your body to get better at the process of switching between using circulating glucose for energy and using stored fat for energy. For those who are looking to shed a few extra pounds, fasting is a great approach to weight loss. With traditional dieting, daily calorie restriction can result in both muscle and fat loss, which actually dampens your metabolism instead of ramping it up, which is what you want. That being said, fasting appears to better preserve this muscle tissue while still losing fat, which benefits overall body composition. Fasting also promotes overall metabolic flexibility. This means that your body can efficiently flip like a light switch between metabolizing carbohydrates and burning stored fat in response to what you eat, when you exercise, and even during rest. The benefits of fasting can be taken even further when paying attention to your circadian rhythm. If you're used to eating at certain times of the day, hunger hormones will still prepare your body for the anticipated digestive process. That hunger can tempt you to break your fast with foods that will send your blood sugar levels soaring through the roof. Intense swings in blood glucose can leave you with side effects like irritability and even craving more food. Using a continuous glucose monitor and maintaining a low glycemic diet will help you understand the way glucose interacts with your body and help you to avoid foods that don't contribute to optimal health. Truth be told, fasting can take some time to get used to, but once you implement the practice into your lifestyle, you might realize it's worth the rough start. For more information on the connection between fasting and metabolic health, you should definitely check out the full-length blog post that's linked in the description of this video. If you think fasting could be helpful to you, be sure to avoid high-carb meals for breakfast and eat a diet rich in micronutrients to experience just how beneficial fasting can be to your overall metabolic health. Thanks for watching.